We've been working on that now for about a year. And the reason it's taken about a year is just because spring market came, spikes in the market came, and we were just picking up listings without a listing presentation. But now, of course, we're getting into 2024. Here's what's going to happen in 2024. I, I've had two CMAs in the last 24 hours. My advice to sellers is this. This is the kind of market right now that we're in where if you have to sell, your property can sell. But if you want to sell, this is not the market for you. There's a difference there between want and need. If you need to sell, let's get very aggressive with the pricing and let's actually get this home on the market in front of the right group of buyers. And there's not a lot of buyers out there anymore, just given the time of the year. So we have to make do with the buyers that are currently out there and we have to make your product the absolute best in its price point from a value perspective for a buyer. So if you need to sell, it's still a good market. If you want to sell and you want to challenge the market, perhaps not the best thing to do. And I'm going to go as far as saying that should be spread across not just homes for sale, but if you've got a rental right now, and if you think your landlord is a little bit out to lunch right now, they need to start dialing back. Nobody right now is cash flow positive. I understand you're trying to limit your damages. I get that. But at the same time, the interest rates and what the banks are, are charging you for your mortgage these days, that doesn't matter. 